so we need the land. Let's steal some land. Oh my god. Oh, the greed. The greed is coming out. <laughs> oh, I need to top deck the land. <laughs> oh, it's worth it. If I draw a land, guys. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today an extremely interesting Esper Control deck, the actual control with Archangel of Wrath, one of my favorite cards in the meta, it just obliterates all the aggro decks, they hate it. So on top of this we have cards like Voidrend, which is amazing, and Siphon Insight, which is the coolest cards to draw your lands, because you will know that even at 27 lands we still get mana screwed, but we still you know, do pretty fa pretty well with it. So, of course, we have the removal package, as usual, we won't talk about it. Uh, Sanctuary Warden is another interesting addition to the deck. Even though you know the card, I think the interesting part about this one is that if you run three, you probably will cast them on turn six, which means that you, you don't have trouble closing the games, as usual you have in, like, very grindy control. You can just play them, they protect themselves against Invoke the Spare, thanks to the extra token and you just hit your opponent's face by air which with all the removal and all the archangel of wrath and uh, emperor tokens means it's very hard to race you and you usually can close the game in like three turns easily so one of the upsides for the kind for this kind of deck the deck is from yoshimori Sho, uh, and he won some uh, japan think tournament i don't know but this was the winning deck so it's it's hot right now uh, you also have the sideboard here uh, i will probably leave it because i know you guys sometimes ask for sideboard so it's probably very similar for most esper decks so you know if you steal it you have it forever so be careful about crafting everything uh, because you will craft the sideboard as well uh, one interesting thing about this deck and the fair warning pain lands will hurt you in this deck because of cards like voidra that needs a lot of colored mana, Archangel of Wrath. At some point we couldn't cast the Emperor because it would kill us with all the pain lands. If you draw all the pain lands, you are in for a lot of pain. Surprise, surprise. But still it's worth it because the mana base is pretty stable with basically four colors in the deck. So this is the deck, I hope you will appreciate it. Uh, if you are a Esper fan, definitely worth trying out this one. It's pretty interesting version and plays very fun. And with that being said, let's go into the games and have some action. Hey guys, it's me, Sloth from the future, editing this video. I have noticed that I have failed as a content creator and didn't ask for subscribers. It's horrible, it's abysmal, I, it cannot be accepted. So <laughs> I promise you that the subscribing is a new hot thing on YouTube. Everyone is doing it. Just try it and you will feel, wow, it's so amazing. And if you don't, I, I will thank you. I will still thank you. It's, it's something, right? All right, let's go into the games. All right, we are going first. We have double march and siphon, so it should be a bit better. And we are casually paired with top 30 mythic in the world. I think that speaks very nicely of our win rate <laughs> and, you know, MMR. All right, so he's playing mono black. Let's go with Otawara, that's for sure. It sucks that we cannot play siphon and siphon curve, but it is what it is. All right. All right, all right. So he cannot draw the card and will gladly, gladly invest our full turn into removing all his card advantage. They usually do not have many bank busters. Even if he has a follow up bank buster, we can do it again. So that's a really big deal because that that was his value for the game. Right now we are even. With bank buster, he would be ahead. Life of Toshiro Umezawa is great unless you play deck like ours. And then it kinda is lame. So we definitely do not need to remove this. This also dies to cut down. You know, the best argument in the world <laughs> dies to cut down. But it really does, so we do not fear it so much. Alright, this, this is something I do fear. So we need the land. Let's steal some land. Oh my god. Oh, the greed. The greed is coming out. <laughs> oh, I need to top deck the land. <laughs> oh, it's worth it. If I draw a land, guys, if, never mind, I will never naturally draw a land when I need it, absolutely fine. So we have to do the thing, right? A casual Archangel, 
to compensate for my bad top decking skills. Uh, kinda sucks, but it is what it is. But truth to be told, uh, I could have the land and just not, you know, go with my deck, but who, who normal wouldn't still invoke the spare from your opponent's mono black? Like, let's be serious for a moment. It has to be done. Uh, we definitely want to get rid of this, it gives him mana. So why not? We are down to two cards, but we have... Uh, man, I cannot draw any lands normally. That's actually kind of ridiculous. Like, we are playing 27 lands and we still got mana screwed. Oh man, magic, magic, magic. We need to basically waste our full turn just to keep hit our land drop. By the way, my opponent is just hitting them like a boss with no cargo. You know, hashtag relatable. Okay, he's actually sacrificing his stuff. Of course, no natural land. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, stealing Invoke Despair means there's no big downside because you don't need triple black, uh, for quadra black. You can just, you know, go for it. Enjoy your Invoke Despair, it was a pleasure, thank you. <laughs> I still like the st Yeah, yeah, you don't... Uh, he's, he's weirded out by the mana, but Siphon Inside just steals it. Yeah, black, 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 but where's the last black? He was cheating, Sloth is cheating on the game. Uh, cool. Like, we have the land and we have the warden, so even though this hurts quite a lot, I think with the warden we should be kind of fine. Because we will draw cards, we will get everything except lands from our deck, of course. Uh, I think we can start being aggressive. Because with the Warden Train, we can be the aggressor. It will be very hard to answer. And if he wants to hit hard with the Sleeper, like he needs to waste basically his full turn and we can Void Run it later. Yeah, Shield Counter, baby. <laughs> uh, invoke Despair, of course. Three Invoke Despairs, 22 cards from the top. That's how you play Magic. So, you guys know, this, this is something we need to do to be top uh, 30 Mythic. You just need to draw all Invokes in the top part of your library. That's easy. Uh, despite the jokes, uh, it's still pretty fine. So we will go like this. I need the Lifelink and I, I, I need the Smork. So Archangel provides all of those services. That's a Smork. That's a Smork to your face. We got the lifelink, and that's more smoke to your face. Like you can see that we quite bursted him. We are already at even HP, even though he was kinda in the lead for on the battlefield for the full game. Uh, so as long as he doesn't draw the fourth invoke, he's still short on value. Geeks, Geeks is fine. Uh, it's a shame he doesn't like to cut down. Nicious underdog, definitely irritating. Okiba Recon right. Like he's going all in. He decided this is the moment. And I cannot blame him for it. What is the chance that we'll again don't draw land, right? Right? It's impossible. I'm playing 27 lands! Magic! What the hell? He drew 9 lands naturally and I drew 6 in my 27 deck land. Oh my god, magic, go away, you're drunk. We really needed this land because I wanted to cut down the Tenacious Underdog. Now it is super awkward and we will have to sacrifice a creature, which means Invoke Despair is much Like, everything is, is awkward. We needed this land. Uh, we can fix the whole board on the next turn, but we need to survive, so... Alright, that's insanely good card. Definitely one of the best he could have. Except Invoke Despair. Sure, that would also be a big pain, I guess. Alright, alright. And the attack would be problem. If he attacks like this, we sacrifice the shield counter, I guess, on the Warden for Geeks. We have to double Takenuma, so we can get back Warden at some point. You know, if we draw a land ever. Like, we could do so much more if we hit Lance on Curve. Like, man, he's at 8 mana together because he sacrificed one of the... He's just sacrificing Lance for value while I cannot play my cards. Oh, man. Uh, this is actually pretty good. Like, we have exactly perfect removal for this board. So let's see the attack. I hope he doesn't attack. 
I honestly do. We can also Voidrant his Bangbuster. It will hurt like hell probably with the Pine Lands. Perfect. All right, guys. Finally, of course, not a chance in hell you will draw a land. You are stuck at six mana with 26, seven lands. This is actually insane. Magic, go home. All right, so we can make double Archangel play. And you know what? It's pretty good. I think it's a pretty good play because we basically answer everything and we also get occasion to smoke with the Warden, which is a big deal. And we also get uh, to crew the Bangbuster in case we need it. So, you know, he can pay two life and his full turn to draw a card, but is that the winning play? I don't think so. All right. I, I'm not sure about this counter, to be honest. I really am not. So do we remove it? That's a very big decision. It's tempting. We might hit a land, but let's be honest, we will never hit a land. So let's not count on it. Uh, he has a lot of removal in the deck and there is high chance he's waiting until we use the shield counter. Especially that at this rank people are actually good, so they won't make mistakes generally and they will make smart plays so you need to you know change your play a little bit like at this right people are actually like trying to trick you into bad plays and trying to bait something so you need to be careful about those kind of plays i think we are in a good spot but it all depends how amazing his draws are because ours are pretty garbage <laughs> man i cannot believe we drew 22 cards out of 27 lander deck and we should have around one third of those. So what? Eight, nine. We should have nine lands. We have six. And those nine lands were actually the reason we like look at this. We have double bangbuster that we cannot really use. And he's cycling cards. And he wants our cards because he knows ours are better. Actually, second time I I've seen this ability used. I don't think it's good, right? He needs to pay. Uh, you may play... Oh, without... Okay, play lands. That was my land I needed. That was exactly land I needed. <laughs> Alright, I think this will be zero. Because it's con like when you cast it, you know, without paying mana cost, the cost is zero. So you take zero cards out of zero selection. Uh, he definitely learned something after this game, I guess. All right, going first with Remova and Emperor St. Lance. Like, what not to like? <laughs> we always start with the, you know, dual land because you want to make sure that you don't need to paint yourself every time you, you use the colored mana. Here we are. So, every single time when I'm trying to... Oh, I, I don't have the black mana. Anyway, every single time that I wanted to go for the throat, it was... Uh, the one mana play that is worse to remove and every time i didn't have removal it was adverse <laughs> all right uh just a fun note so we will go with a ganjo here we definitely cannot skip the turn three play especially against such an aggressive opening with double emperor we should have yeah especially with this one yeah let's go for this one because we want to exile the chick and kill the kumano and this is so much damage Double white without the penland, so we can go with Takenuma. Like we could, but let's be honest, mono red always attacks. That's that's basically their identity, pressing the orange button. So uh, you can assume every creature is permanently tapped, <laughs> basically. So right now, it's Emperor is extremely good because it negates the full board, and now he needs to do something. But he wants to also kill the Emperor, so she's not back. That's absolutely fine. It's basically a 2 damage and nothing really, ma nothing really more. And we'll stay with the next Emperor. The burn spells are a thing, but we want to hit some value with the Emperor. That's fine. Like, you know, every time he loses the card, it's closer and closer for us. Uh, I will wait one more turn. So this won't be a dead turn, even if he doesn't do anything, we set up the Emperor, so we basically use all the mana. But indeed, on the next turn we, we actually need to play the Archangel to start life, start life linking. And having no pain lands to pay, play your double white spells 
Swift is extremely important. Of course we go for the minus one to split the card into two. Now he needs to answer two things instead of one. Like we had the choice, right? <laughs> oh, he has the cool dog. Okay, I, I guess it's the hippie dog, I guess. But it's super cool. So, uh, Archangel Chain. That's actually... You know what? Let's attack first. No downside to it, except losing Emperor, of course. But he could do it uh, in response to Archangel anyway. Okay, let's make sure that we don't pain ourselves. Let's go for Black Kicker, because we are for sure having black mana. That is not a pain land. And I think this ends the game. <laughs> Archangel, just ending the game. And let's make sure that this is above Lightning Strike. Of course, that's his last card. You know, why not? <laughs> To be absolutely fair, uh, usually they keep it as a last card because it's the biggest burst of damage. But the fact that he he got exactly the one answer, exactly the turn he like the last moment he could use it, is just you know classic classic red deck. Uh, he still will lose probably, especially with the second arc. And if we didn't draw this one, the game would be still fishy because you know he can draw triple. Oh, okay. Oh, so much respect to this guy, he actually knows how his card work, because it's not red, it's not artifact, so it doesn't get the buff from the warfare, but nearly nobody knows about it. I, I'm impressed. Consider me impressed, my friend. And this one will be about lightning strike, whether you like it or not. So he played it to gain more time with the samurai. By the way, Emperor is it for loyalty, so moment we start hitting with this and he cannot answer, the game is super over, so I, I would explode right here. Yeah, the, the game is over. If he cannot remove the Archangel, he cannot raise for life, 4, 5, 6 life link a turn. Alright, we are going first. We have not a lot of painlands, which I actually like, because they can hurt, right, right doggy? They can absolutely hurt. So, go for the throat will be enabled, and the same goes for Voidrand. Yeah, we are starting with the Painlands, and that's absolutely fine, it enables all our plays, but well, against Control it's even better, because they basically have no downside. Like, you don't care about your HP total. I really hope it's a Spare Legends. Perfect. Actually, thank you for it. And what is the next play? Raffin. Raffin is fine, because we can void on him on curve. Uh, there is a chance they don't play Raffin into, you know, the controly stuffy. It is super tempting to go with the Bangbuster, but I think next turn it's a bit better. Yeah, because we can start going instantly. I, I expect some serious drop here. Yep, you are definitely a serious drop that I wanted to kill. Uh, Raffin is a problem right now. So right now we don't have the uh, way to deal with Raffin, Joe, we have we have way to deal with Raffin. So it's either the Emperor to build the board. Uh, this will get us a lot of benefit. I think it is an Emperor. Uh, if it's Esper Legends, and it seems to be, they do not run any non-creature cards, basically, so we don't we can pay their turn. Yep, that's a Raffin. Alright. And for this reason, we are playing the Emperor, because right now we can start building some value. We need, we need a land uh, to, to use the Martian Raffin. That's a tap land, thank you. <laughs> so we could get rid of the Archangel, but I really don't think that's the play. Instead, we will do this. Uh, Raffin cannot kill us. We will fall a little bit behind. That's not perfect. We could also play Archangel, but I don't think it was the good idea. Alright. I, I think that's a weak bluff. I should have done it before the Bangbuster, because then, you know, a Ganjo becomes a possibility. But, you know, you can always try. There is no downside to it, so why, why not? Okay, Tapland, you extremely love to see it. It means there's no air tie, no things like this. Yep. Also, he should probably attack before playing land, right? No reason to not to. 
Especially if it's a tap run, so he doesn't get an extra mana. Alright, so he cycled one of the legendaries, so that's fine. We will kill Rafin on the next turn, and Emperor is creating value as we speak. And do I kill this? Exile a creature card, colorless zombie. It's extremely expensive, so I don't think we fear it. I much rather get the card. And there's my card. This is actually a pretty nice one. Alright, so we can kill Rafin. We can kill Rafin. I will still do it at the upkeep. And I guess we go with this one. I guess we actually deal quite a lot of damage already. We've got the edge in this fight. If he trades, I'm kinda happy with it. Ah? Huh? you monster. You are the worst person on earth right now. <laughs> you are an actual monster. So let's go for three. And uh, not the biggest fan of paying Rafin Ward, but it is what it is on the bright side. Uh, no, never mind. There's no bright side to Rafin. I thought I have mana for the Bangbuster, but I do not. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, it kinda showed that I wanted to do the thing at the upkeep. Rata Drabic. I mean, can you stop with the ward, please? Like, it's quite a lot of wards. We have answers, like, we have for wards. And honestly, this Sanctuary Warden is a big deal. So, we will make it like this, I think. I think. Because it gives us more cards, more shield counters, cut down. So we can we can cut down this, but it's not a great deal. I think Takenua might be even better. We'll see. I, I, I'm not sure right yet. But we will draw a lot of cards. And Warden can trade for a long time. Okay. I see how it is. Man, this guy has no morality. Like I know I know I'm I'm the prime example of not having it, but you know. I still I, I, I'm still in pain after seeing this sword that oh like sure that other oh so many legendaries. Why? Alright, that was that was a weird commentary. I, I, I just thought it would be better. Uh, so Archangel. We don't have good removal for sure that uh, Siphon Insight is not great, it, it won't find removal right now. So I guess we have to go by air and just smork. Uh, let's attack, let's draw a card and see what we get. Uh, I actually will go for the for the shield counter, we don't need to. Not at this point. So it hurts, we get a blocker though. We cannot pay double ward on Rata Drabi. Archangel is horrible against ward because you need to pay so much mana and then double target the ward. So cut down on this one is also not great. Man, I actually think, yeah, we will definitely hit the, the face. Do we really need to hit the face? Maybe this is the play. All right, so he will be at five. Okay, okay, I think this is the winning type of play. That's a lot of damage, but it's fine. Because this hits him two times in the face. He heals one, so he's back to seven. However, he he gets dealt 9 damage in air, or with the Emperor and Warden 7, if he removes the Archangel. So, like, they have Erta in the deck. So one of the creatures might be removed. Oh, bro, that's not the winning play, I think. Right? Yeah, like, he, I, I think he wants to lose Shardet somehow. If he loses Shardet, he gets multiple copies of it. So we need to make sure that we won't kill anything. And... Oh, okay, he will sacrifice the shard at himself, right? I forgot Ashnot has ability. What? I think he missed amazing play. He could target shorded and then get three shorded dealing... Well, I guess it still makes him dead, right? So, two blockers. I think this is the blockers. Yeah, we... that's it. We win the game. <laughs> uh, I don't want to kill anything. 
Like, their, uh, his creatures does not matter because they don't have flying, and mine have flying. Explosion time, my dear friend. I think that's some explosion time right there. Let's still make the thing. Let's split the damage. Uh, that was a mistake. It should be Sanctuary Warden because if he has removal, uh, he actually can go through. So I messed up big time right now. It should be the Warden. Uh, I don't think uh, it will matter anyway. Huh? Otawara, you... Oh my god, this is the only card I didn't think of. I should have, but I didn't. Oh man, that's... Oh, he's a monster! But I still get to remove the counter. And that's pretty cool. Let's do it. Oh, that's that's really good draw. Alright, so we deal... Man, oh, I feel... I, I He tricked me so hard. All right, all right, all right. So we can either farewell the board. You know what? We we cannot lose after farewelling, so let's just do it. All right, creatures, graveyards for sure. Enchantments, no artifacts, no. All right, like, it, it didn't go the way I expected it to go, but it's still a good way. He's at three, two cards. We have five cards with Warden, so... But that oh man, well, that's actually so so close. It couldn't be any closer, I think. If we play the warden, we do not have enough mana. So I, I guess we just play Takenuma. Yeah, we the game will be over because before Takenuma will be used. And let's go with the shield counter. Uh, let's kill the Lisa because there's barely any better creature than this. And that was the extra man. It was so hard. His second wave was actually close to winning. Oh, that all right. Opponent goes first. I mean, this is not the worst hand. Uh, we don't have a lot of interaction, but we still have one removal. And thanks to having some removal, we will start with the Raffin Tower because it's just better mana than, than the launch. We don't really need red except for the hunter, so as per mana, much much better. We might draw something blue. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think this is the plan. Alright, do we remove this or just go for the Bangbuster? Uh, we have the Emperor and Ferwar, so I'll take some damage. I enjoy taking damage as long as it sets me for the later game. But Fable definitely. So in two turns we probably want to sweep, right? We won't be able to in time. Hmm. Alright, let's make the tap run, that's for sure. I should remove the the goblin, the most scary goblin on ladder. Yeah, I think that's the right call. Uh, we are so far from farewell that we kind of have to sweep manually for the time being. <laughs> right, doggy? Of course. Oh, he's so cute. So, yeah, the cycling. Oh, that's that's free value. But tenacious da underdog. Okay. It's, it's good, but not this turn. Yeah, this is what I fear, that I will use removal on something else. Well, uh, this definitely hurts quite a lot. It's such an obvious emperor. <laughs> so next time we can go Archangel for the Harvester. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he won't be attacking with Shorded. And this means that we are in some trouble. Yeah, I will try to pass the priority as soon as possible, just so he doesn't see anything. You know what? Let's make a trick. I will pass the priority, so if he casts something, it looks like we don't have anything. And I will try to time it right. Ah, uh, I messed up. <laughs> I should click it too fast. I'm not using it yet. Told you. He's, he's, he's not a dummy. He is actually not a dummy. So we will do the thing that he knows that we will do. But at least the underdog is not here. It won't be anyway with the farewell, but you know. We kill Kikijiki, we block the, the other one. Oh man, we are in some trouble, but we have an out. Theoretically. Because of the enter. So let's go like this. That's a kicker without the painlands. We have to kill the Kikijiki, because it's a Kikijiki. All right, all right, all right. So we can make a samurai, or, or we can do this. 
Uh, attacking with sure that hurts quite a lot. And if we have the token, we force... Yeah, I think that... Oh, no. That sucks, but I think I have to kill the Emperor. Like, the re... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason is that we don't want to take too much face damage. Because things might go wrong. Like, we might get make disappeared, things like this. So, I'm not super confident that we can fare well and just, you know, weasel our way, our way out of trouble. We have the Bangbuster, he doesn't, so we an, in reality have six cards, but we need time for it. And do we get enough time? And Archangel matters, like even raising the life is actually meaningful. He did not attack at all. That's very, very, very fishy. Uh, I'm not sure how to think about it. I really think he has made disappear, you know? Oh, that's that's really bad overall. So we can draw with the Bangbuster, but without the lifelink, it's really bad. If we attack with this one, then he has free attack on his turn. So that's that's his strategy. If you attack with this one, he he can just race us. Uh, I'm pretty sure this gets countered and we are in trouble, but I will still go for it. And uh, no artifacts, please. Do we go for the gravers? There are no creatures. So I think we don't need to. Oh man. Let's let's cross our fingers. It's not a great farewell for us as well. Like we are training 242, but it's basically a shorted removal. Here comes the make disappear. Oh! It's even worse. <laughs> oh no. I got so wrecked. Oh directness continues. So I'm sweeping my own board. This is what sure that this does to your deck. Maybe the go for the throat should be reserved just for sure that. I think that could be my mistake. But not sure if we would have time with the goblin, it would be so hard. Yep, I will gladly draw my lands for the day, thank you. I enjoy drawing a lot of lands against sure that. Alright, that's a march. That is some answer, but it came way too late. I don't think it will matter super much. He is tapped out, so let's do it now. We show him what we have, but... I mean, we are in some real, real trouble, especially with the cycling. It means that those cards, even though he has only two, should be relevant. If you cycle them, like, there's high chance something will pop up. I mean, that definitely qualifies as a pop-up. Yeah, I, we don't have mana draw. If we drew farewell, we would win this game, I think, but... You know what? This is as close as it gets, but I don't think it will be enough. I don't think it will be enough, but that's a really good draw. This is a really good draw. So, this way we actually can make two creatures. Let's play the land, because as you can see we are short on mana all the time. We are not attacking. Like, if he doesn't draw removal, we can absolutely kill the Flesh Gorger, and with Second Warden we can actually get advantage. So you know what? You know what? Alright. Oh, but we die, right? Because of the freaking Goblin, as always. Yeah, he, he, he should know that he has this game. We needed one more creature. Oh, there is no creature in the graveyard. I knew about it. Well, farewelling this one, it, no, of course, of course, his last card is the one he needed, of course, of course, of course. I absolutely enjoy this go for the throat. Uh, I do not have any regrets. That was a good game, and our opponent played very well. So let's give him good game. Oh, what a frustrating loss! I think we're on the verge of greatness all the time.